everybody and welcome back to my channel Ayan's Fun Learning Tube and today in Ayan's Fun Learning Tube day 159 we are going to be learning about global warming so let's get started but first we need to understand what global warming is so to understand what global warming is we need to understand what the greenhouse effect is so if you've ever been inside a greenhouse you would know that the sun's rays come through the windows and then that's how the greenhouse stays warm so the earth has an atmosphere and that atmosphere is like a, the window inside a real greenhouse so yeah the atmosphere is like a big invisible blanket so the sun's rays come through the atmosphere and then that's how the earth stays warm so that is called the greenhouse effect but here's the thing some people have been doing things that cause uh, the atmosphere to get thicker and thicker like using fossil fuels like diesel gas and oil and cutting down trees which makes the atmosphere thicker and thicker you see when the sun's rays come down to earth it tries some of them try to bounce back up into space now here is where the earth's greenhouse gases come into play so you see the greenhouse gra gases act like an invisible trampoline that bounces the sun's rays back down to earth still keeping our planet suitable for living but as we know too much of literally everything in the whole entire world is bad for you so if we release too many greenhouse gases then the earth is going to become very hot and that could lead to melting ice caps and even changing weather patterns. The best way to slow down global warming is by using less energy, by walking or biking instead of using cars, because cars require diesel or gasoline, and those are bad for the environment. Also, you could plant more trees to further slow down global warming. If we don't slow down global warming, then really bad things could happen, such as forest fires and crazy, crazy weather. Now that we know all about climate change, let me tell you this. The summer of 2024 was the hottest summer ever. In how long? In the entirety of human history, with an average of 66 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. It may not seem like a lot, but keep in mind that there's some really cold places in the world like Canada, Russia, Greenland, and even Antarctica, and many, many more. This is a 0.3 Fahrenheit increase from the averages of 1999 to 2020. This may not seem like a lot, but gradually it is. Well, you know the Amazon rainforest over here in South America, right? Well, recently, many times, it has been burning. In 2024, the Amazon rainforest had the highest number of fires since 2005, and more than 13.4 million acres of Brazil's Amazon has been burned so far if we don't stop this then the amazon rainforest is projected to become a desert by 2050. now let's look at the rise of sea levels one of the effects of climate change how does it happen so you see if it gets too hot climate change ice from places like antarctica or greenland or the north north pole break off and then enter the ocean why because it's too hot and then when when it enters the ocean the ocean level rises you know when you put ice in a cup of water yeah the water rises so i don't know if this is going to be visible or clear but here's an example pay close close attention I didn't realize it then, but that was a complete fail. So, 
Yeah. So just like that, when you put icebergs in the ocean, the ocean rises. And ocean rising is not good because it could lead to mass floods. Other effects of climate change include poverty, displacement, more health risks, and not enough food. But together, we can combat climate change and make the world a green place again. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, please like, subscribe, share it, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Peace!